Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding append and merge in Power BI. So you know append and merge comes in the Power Query and Power BI and both does different functions even though it is categorized under a single one. So if you go to home tab and if you go to transform data you can see here merge queries and append queries categorized together inside the combined ribbon. So both of these functions does uh, different operations. So you can check about this in the details. The append operation creates a single table by adding the contents of one or more tables to another and aggregates the column headers from the tables to create the schema for the other table, for the new table. So what it does is that creates creates a new table. So if you are, suppose if you are having two files or two tables, or you can say it's two queries, it is having the same column name and same data type. So what it, it does is that it does the append operation with both the tables and it will create a new table or you can append it in the table one or table two itself you can append it there is option for creating a new table or create the, doing it in the current table itself but at the same time if you have different column names that column name will be also appended but the remaining portion will be shown as null values whereas the merge query it is different from append operation because the merge query operation joins two existing tables together based on matching values from one or more columns. You can choose to use different types of joins depending on the output you want. So what the merge query does is you need to have a column that is similar in both the tables. So that means here if, if you see the product ID is a uh, product ID column is there in both the tables and because the product ID is there in both the tables you can have a relationship between both the tables and with respect to that product ID there are joins through which you can create or you can merge these two tables that means okay this product description product name can be added to this table. So usually it happens if there is a one-to-one -one relationship you can you merge both the tables into one table instead of having two tables. We can see an example of both. The first one is append table. So here we are having two tables. One is sales one and sales two and both are having different values. You can see from till sales ID is still 1016 in the first table and oh, sorry 1026 in the first table and the second table it starts from 1028. But the column you see here we are having one, two, three, four columns are matching and the fifth column is not matching because one is invoice date and another one is delivery. So we will see how we, are, we can append these two and we will see the values and then we will see so we can go to transform data and in this transform data we can select the first column and we can select append queries. If you select this append query here in this table itself it will happen but instead of that what we can do is we can append query as new. So both the columns you need to select in this the first column and the second I mean both the tables you need to select if you have more than one table you can select this three and you can add whatever columns you need in this here actually product table is also there but product table consists of totally different values so we are not going to append it we are just going for sales one and sales two and we will click ok and we got the new table now we can see here here we can see the difference because this is the first table till here and the second table is from here to here so similar columns everything got appended without any problem but the ones that are not similar that is invoice date and delivery date you can see it got appended but the ones which we have which don't have the invoice date is having the null value and the ones which we don't have the delivery date is showing the value now so in this way append can be used so we can close and apply so in this table we will be selecting the columns that are similar and here we will be selecting the columns that are not similar so here we will select this table and we will go for sales id sales date sales amount and product date product date it is not showing correctly that is because here you need to change it to don't summarize so we got both the tables together appended here without any problem that is because we have selected all the similar columns now we will select the similar as well as the other columns also. So sales ID, sales date, sales amount, product ID, invoice date, and delivery date. So here the product ID, same, don't summarize. So here you can see the first table, this is the first table invoice date. And that is why it is not showing anything in the delivery date. And th this is the second table. And here, of course, invoice date is not there. That's why it's not showing anything. It is showing as not. So if everything is similar or if everything is not similar also, we can append it. It is not an issue, but we will see null values in the 
column that are not changed. So this is about append. So now we will go for merge. So in this merge, of course, we are going to take this append column itself. Sales ID, sales date, sales amount, and product ID. We will take all the ones that are similar. And of course, we have both the tables appended. So we have all the values, all the columns, all the rows. So now we will be merging it with this product table. So for merging, you need to have one column that are similar in both the tables. So we have one column that is similar, that is product ID, that is similar on both the tables. So you see 2154 is similar to what 2154. So now we want to merge this table into one single table. So that means product name also should join this table. For that, we need to go to transform data. We are going to select this append one and we will be using the merge queries. And same thing, you can merge it here itself or you can merge it as new. So we are going to merge it in a new table. So we have selected the option merging and we will select the second table that is product table. And now we need to select the column that are through which we need to merge. We are going to merge it from with respect to product ID. So here we have, we have merged it. So since we have selected or recognized both the columns that are similar, we are going to check it. We have checked it and now we have the join kinds. See, there are almost six kind of joins, left out of join, right out of join full join, inner join, left handy join and right handy join. See the, these joins, I have already taken a video regarding the joins. You can go to the description and you can check the link for that. Almost joins as well as this fuzzy matching options also because fuzzy matching options is totally a different new concept. And that means, okay, if you have any spelling mistake between two tables, that will match also. If you select this first fuzzy matching, I have, all these are there in the link that I have put it in the description. You can go and check it. So actually right now, what we are going to do is we, we will go for inner join. Inner join means, okay, whatever is exactly matching in both the tables. You can see all this product ID, product ID, everything is matching in all these 13, 38 rows as well as this 12 rows. So, so there is something called left out or join where the first table will be having uh, everything matching and the second table, there will be some ID that won't be matching. So that is called left out or join. The same thing right out or join means, okay, there will be everything matching in the right side, but there won't be certain values that won't be matching in the left side. So basically now we are dealing with every, both the things are matching together. So that comes, all these con elaborate descriptions con comes under merge query video that I have put in the description, you can check. Now we are going to take only inner join and we are not going to do anything for same matching because all the rows are matching here and we will be selecting okay. And we got everything okay. Now the next step what we need to do because we just got the product table inside this merge table. Now we need to select the columns what we need to display. There is no need to display the product ID once again because product ID is already there here. So you can unselect this product ID, only the product name need to be displayed. So we have selected the product name. So all the product name with respect to this product ID got into this table. So now there is no need for us to take this product table and this sales everything together into the model. We just need to take this merge table to the, we can close and apply. We got the merge table here. We will select this table and we will show the visualization in this table. So we will select the sales ID, sales date, sales amount, product ID, product name. And then if you want, you can select the invoice and delivery also, because anyway, whatever you select, it will show that null values only will be shown for date that is not similar to the other table. So product ID is doing count. We can change that counter. Don't summarize. So these two tables we have joined together into this table. So that is why what merge table does. So the, the difference between append is append will have both the tables with similar values. Merge won't be having similar values, but one column will be there similar in both the tables. Through that one column, we will have the relationship and we will join both the tables and we will create a new team. So that is the important, this is an interview question. Everybody can attend this. Hope this was an interesting video. Have a nice day.